Hey guys, welcome back to the Electric Bike Laboratory. Today we're gonna to be talking about our most popular e-bike conversion kit battery, which is the 48 volt 15 amp hour and 20 amp hour using these very high quality Samsung 50 E cells. But before we do that, we need to announce our giveaway for the 2K subscriber. That's gonna to go to Paul Mryglod. So Paul, thank you so much. You've been following all of our stuff. We really appreciate your support. Send us an email and we'll hook you up with a pretty sweet little kit. Uh, so the, 40, the 48 volt 15 amp hour and 20 amp hour kits are our most popular kits because they pair right up to these controllers. So these are a KT 22 amp peak controller uh, and we pair them up with a DALI uh, 20 amp continuous BMS, which is plenty. These are about 11 amp continuous, so a 20 amp continuous BMS. These BMSs are pretty cool because they're totally waterproof, so they're completely filled with a potting compound. They also have a temperature sensor, switch wires, their common port. So if you have a regenerative braking setup, they are uh, they work with a regenerative braking setup. And then another cool feature about our packs is that we build them with these custom CNC uh, fiber laser cut pure nickel plates. So in a lot of packs, you're gonna find plates like this, but they're gonna be steel with a nickel plating, which is prone to corrosion over time. We specifically sourced these out, so all of our batteries are made with pure nickel. This gives a lot higher current flow, a lot lower temperatures, because there's a lot less resistance in pure nickel versus nickel plated iron, and it's corrosion free. It's never gonna rust. Um, makes a much more reliable battery, and it makes it flow a lot better. The cells that we use in these guys are Samsung 50E. These are basically a staple in the e-bike industry at this point. 5,000 milliamp hours, 10 amp discharge. Uh, they have an insulator ring built in, and these are grade A, uh, basically as fresh as you get right from the biggest distributor in North America. So we're gonna do a dive in on exactly how these go together. Hope you like it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Electric Bike Laboratory. So today we're gonna be building a 48 volt 15 amp hour down tube battery in a 4C case. So it's gonna be going in this case. And the neat part about this type of battery is that it can get paired up with a controller base. This is a KT22 amp controller. And the controller base can go right onto the battery like this. And all your controller components are in the base itself. And you can plug your harness and your motor and your pass and your light into the controller base here. And essentially the controller base will stay on your bike with the controller and you can slide your battery in and it will give it a nice and sleek, stealthy look. Okay, so the BMS we're gonna be using is a DALI 13S 20 amp BMS. So once again, we're gonna be using Samsung 50E cells for our battery and these cells are great because they can do 10 amps of continuous discharge current with 5,000 milliamps of capacity or five amp hours of capacity. And we're gonna be putting it in a 13S 3P configuration. So let's get to it. So step one would be laying out our cells in a 13S 3P configuration. So starting with my positive terminal here, three cells in a parallel group with 13 groups in series. So three and three alternating all the way to the end. Starting with our positive terminal, we can lay out all our nickel plates and spot weld the whole pack together. So start with our positive and then the, on the other side is gonna be our negative and then the rest of the groups welded together. So I'm going to put solder points on each of the balance tabs here and also on the groups that don't have the tabs. And then on my positive terminal right here, I'm going to put a bigger solder point as well as on the negative terminal. So the battery negative wire on the BMS can solder onto the battery negative terminal as well as the positive discharge wire. So after all the balance leads have been put on each of the groups, we can plug in our active balancer and check to see if all the groups are reading okay. And then after that, we can charge the pack up and then do a discharge and check the pack again and go from there.
now we can do the base for our battery. So basically these two pins are going to be positive. These two are going to be negative. Here we have our switch port and then we have our charge port. And on this charge port, this right leg is positive. The left leg is negative. The middle leg here does not get used. And the charge port will sit in there like that with the cap over it and then the switch in there. And then I will solder, solder 18 gauge wires from the charge port onto my pins and then negative and positive. And then I will solder on discharge wires and then I will also use a 48 volt indicator. So this is the 48 volt battery indicator I have here and then it goes with the little button which will sit inside the case and then we can put the indicator on. So here I have the base prepped and on the base I have a positive 18 gauge charge wire going and tucked in nicely and then I also have a negative 18 gauge charge wire going to the negative pins and then I have my indicator wires which are soldered onto the positive and the negative pins and then I have my negative and positive discharge wires which will go on the pack after the pack is ready and then the switch wires will go on the switch board. Okay so now that our pack is discharged and we check that all the groups are good and the delta is below 0.01 volts we can put our pack onto our base, which we prepared already. But before I do that, I will cover the sides up with Kapton tape and then cover the whole pack up with blue shrink tape, and then I can put it on the base. So here I have the exact same battery, but in a 20 amp hour formation. So instead of 3P, it's gonna be 4P, 13 as 4P. And essentially this pack will use the same base as the other pack, and the lid will just be a little bigger. So I left the positive terminal tab exposed so I can directly solder on my positive discharge wire and then I will solder on my negative discharge wire, then my switch wires to my switch and then I will put some foam around the pack to keep it tight and then put the lid on. So before I put the lid on the pack, I will put some foam on the top and on the side so the pack stays nice and tight and secured and won't move around inside. Won't move around inside the case once it's on the bike. So here we have both our packs done. This is our 13S 3P 48 volt 15 amp hour down tube pack and this is our 13S 4P 48 volt 20 amp hour down tube pack. And as you can see this one is just a little bigger than the 15 amp hour, the 20 amp hour is just a little bigger, and, but the process for both of them are the same. And the great thing about these packs is that they can get paired right up with a controller base where the controller is actually inside the base and this can sit on your bike and then the down tube pack can slide on and click in and then you're good to go. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for the next one.